guys, it's Lynn here. I hope you are having a brilliant day. Now today, guys, I've got a little bit something different I'm going to be repotting. I'm going to be repotting four monkeys. <laughs> Seriously, I'm not joking, guys. And um, we have got here four monkey puzzle trees that I have grown from seed. And um, before I say anything else, please give um, my wonderful fiance Hansi a big thumbs up behind the counter. Uh, behind the counter. Now I know I'm going for me, guys. Behind the camera. <laughs> because he is filming me at the moment and um, Hansi has an amazing YouTube channel called Family of Catalysy and Other Beauty so please do go over and subscribe to him now guys as I say I have four monkeys and I'm acting like a monkey today totally lost it um, I grew these from seed in 2014 in September and it is now um, June now 2018 so this is how they're like in four years and if you haven't seen the original video that I made four years ago on how to grow um, monkey puzzle trees from seed links up above to that video and down below to that video when I actually sow these seeds and um, we actually had about probably about 15 of these that germinated all together and we gave some away to, to um, friends and things like that and we also sold some to nurseries as well and we've kept these four for ourselves because we do not um, want to part with these we pick four of the best and they are doing very well but as you can see they're pretty desperate to get repotted now and what I've done I've got the four big pots we're going to be keeping them here in our yard with all our other outdoor plants and I've used um, just plain <coughs> Johnny's number two which is a loam based soil because monkey puzzles like a nice rich soil um, to grow in and these grow quite pretty fast so this is going to be a good soil for them and also Johnny's is well draining as well because it has sand added to it in its mix and um, let's get going then guys so Let's check the first one out here. Squeeze in this. Now what I'm going to do is just going to get some um, quite easy to tip the old compost out here. And uh, give the little pot a bit of a squeeze, gently holding it by its base so I don't, don't hurt the stem. Isn't it just cute? And when I actually got this seed, I got this from um, a place here in Ireland called Ultimant, Gard Ultimant Gardens. And um, they have the most beautiful monkey puzzle. They were huge, this beautiful forest of monkey puzzle trees. And this is where I found the seeds. So these have come from them big, big giants. So it's very special. And it's in, in um, County Carlo, a beautiful place in Ireland. And there you go. Now, when it comes to repotting all types of plants, check the root system to check there's no signs of vine weevil or mealybug or any of the other nasties you sometimes find in the roots these roots are fantastic i have to say lovely and uh, fresh um, and needing to be repotted so very healthy indeed and it's going to gently place that into the pot i've already put a couple of inches of soil already in there so just to play placing that in i'm going to put all four place them all in first before i put all the soil around and as you can see the old soil that we had there is very dark, different soil mix entirely. It wasn't particularly the best soil that we got there, so I'm glad to get it pretty changed. And again, for this little one here, we gently loosen it there, but I don't want to damage the, the roots too much. Um, as I say, very healthy. There's some, oh, there's a little woodlouse. And they're harmless, they eat dead, decay matter. So if you have woodlouse, don't panic. I will just gently brush them off and put them into back into the garden. But they're harmless, so they won't they won't attack healthy roots, they just live eat decaying matter. But you want to watch things like vine weevils and mealy bugs and stuff. I'm gonna gently uh, place that one then into here. I'll put a bit more soil in with this one. It's like New York out there with all the uh, <laughs> the sirens going, and uh, oh, the next little one again, gently squeezing the pots. Oh, wow, that's got a great root system there. Look at that, and there's a tiny little, like a little nematode, they're harmless as well. See that little fella there? Oh, he's thinking, What's going on? What's happening? <laughs> but they're harmless as well. In fact, they can be very beneficial beneficial to the roots as well like worms can people panic about worms and things like that but they're the good guys and uh, that's 
little bit there just to keep it a bit stable so it doesn't top over. That's great. And then uh, Hansi helping me there. And then last but not least, this little, there's actually a little succulent uh, little um, leaf that actually fell off there. And it's already starting to form little plantlets, so I'm going to leave that on. It wants to be there. And uh, again, checking the roots. Again, another little wood louse. Um, they're harmless enough and it's little, keep them together, little family. <laughs> I'm going to put them then back out into the garden so they're not going to get hurt. We like to look after insects, the good guys. <laughs> look at that, isn't he a beauty, guys? He's amazing. Wow. Again, a bit more soil for him. Wow. Now, that's it. So that's the four monkeys in their pots. And now what we do now is just literally just putting all the soil in. Very easy. It's a very easy, easy peasy to repot. And uh, so squeezing all the fresh soil down around the sides here. And uh, it's always amazing to grow from seed, but extra special with these because they're not easy to, um, to get. And because I found these seeds from such a very special place, um, very beautiful gardens, say Autumn Mount Gardens. And um, by the way, where I found these seeds, I'll also put the link up to that video um, of the Autumn Mount Gardens when I visited in County Carlo here in Ireland. Um, it's a very beautiful place. So links up above to that if you haven't seen it or you're visiting Ireland in the future and want to, want to go there. It's wonderful. <laughs> That's great. All around. And I say these monkey puzzles, we overwinter them in the polytunnel because although they are cold hardy, they can take they can take cold weather. They are still young um, at four years, so um, we keep them in the polytunnel over the winters just to protect them from frost and um, too cold temperatures. And uh, they seem to have done very well anyway. When they're probably, probably about five foot, we might be brave enough to actually leave them out for the winter. But they are normally very cold hardy, so it's not, not a problem. But as I say, they're still young at the moment. They're gorgeous, aren't they, guys? They really are lovely, I have to say. And although they're, they're nothing at all like a cactus, they're sort of cactus-like, um, just in their appearance. I think they're wonderful. <laughs> the nearest thing we'll ever get to, uh, a sawaru anyway, in Ireland. <laughs> Is these monkey puzzles they're gorgeous and they can live for many years I mean they can live for about 300 years possibly even longer I know they're very long-lived long-lived uh, tree that's wonderful and then just the last one which I would just put here ah oh, gorgeous let's make sure I'll take that little succulent out there so it doesn't doesn't get damaged. No, put him, put him back at the top. He wants to stay there. It's fantastic. Oh, these are gorgeous. It's <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> Just turning around to make sure all the soil is around the edges and is all nicely. Nicely tucked in. Haha. I love, I love soil and uh, repotting. It reminds me of many years ago when I was a child and I used to love playing in the sand pit. <laughs> I know it's totally different, but it just has a, when I'm repotting, it has a very therapeutic feel to it. Um, I think it's one of the best therapies in the world gardening, indoor and outdoor. It should be free on prescription instead of all these drugs they give people to calm themselves down. Gardening is the best. And uh, growing plants. And I'm sure a lot of you are watching this if you love plants and gardening. Otherwise you wouldn't be watching this. I'm sure you agree with me there. Now guys, there you go. Four happy monkeys. But I won't be giving these any bananas anyway. <laughs> I'll be giving them a nice bit of water and I'll be watering these straight away now. Um, so they get settled into their new pots. These are safe to water pretty much straight away. Good watering. We're having great weather here at the moment. So um, they should acclimatise their new pots and probably find that in a few months' time I'll be potting them on again. So guys, as I say, if you haven't seen the original video of um, when I sowed these from seed, do watch it. 
and um, there'll be links on that video to follow up videos of what they look like months after probably like five or six update videos i've done on these over the years so it's quite amazing and stay tuned for a future update video probably in about six months time when i probably pop pop these on again so guys thanks so much for watching and all your support and your amazing comments and all your likes and i want to send you loads of love heaps of happiness and tons and tons of plant power as always from Ireland and until the next video guys, bye!